Hello everybody, welcome to something I thought I'd um, try. Um, today, I'm going to be do doing a bit of game planning, and um, you may, well, I don't know if you will, but you might recognize this thing right here. Maybe uh, a bit of this you might recognize. None, none of these things you'll recognize. Like, I mean, I've got a bed sheet here as a window. I mean, um, yeah. Um, this is Doom Builder, GZ Doom Builder, to be more precise. P precise, precise. Um, basically, I'm using Doom to plan a game. Generally, because Doom is similar to the game I'm planning. Also, the fact that GZ Doom Builder, um, or Doom Builder in general, is a lot easier to do things with, because I could just quickly do things like this, and, oh, look at that, I've got a door. But it has no texture, so it doesn't really count. Also, if I want to set that up quickly, um, this. I really wish I could shrink this thing, because it's too big. And that's not an issue with the engine, that's because um, I usually use my smaller screen. But I don't want to use that because it's a square. Um, you'll be able to understand because I'll probably flash a picture on screen that's very, very high quality image. Um, right, so what I want is properties. And we want to do lower unpegged, and then enter, and now... What should happen? Yeah, look at that. The texture does not move. It stays there. It's perfect. That's how it should be. Okay. Now that is not a special feature that GZ Dooms provides. That's what all Doom things provide. This is a special feature right here. The um slope. Also, these textures, they're usually about 64 by 64. I've um, squished them down so they're smaller than that, so it adds a cool little effect. You can see it's slightly warped, but it's not that bad. Um, we've also got this up here, but this will look a bit different in a minute. Um, so yeah, I've kind of done the similar thing here. I've um, shrunk these textures to make them look like this, because otherwise this texture here looks like this. All of these textures as well, I've made myself. Apart from these ones. These are original Doom stuff, but those are just temporarily there. Everything I plan on using is my own texture stuff. So this is um, a bed sheet texture I made that I'm temporarily using as a window until I build the outside area, which I'm not doing yet, as I need to finish building all of these things. So we're into this black screen. Ah, there it is. I forgot the hotkey that lets you go back to the center. So, yeah, you can see this is generally the room layout. And then we go in, and it's all of a sudden 3D. We've got vents on the roof, the floor tiles on the roof. Generally, they can be used in a mixture. Um, we've also got this. This was originally a stair texture when um, I was planning on doing a top-down game, and the stairs are going to be like slopes, but they would look like stairs. These don't particularly look like square, uh, squares, stairs though, do they? They might have looked a bit different, I'm not sure. I've actually, um, I can show you, uh, here it is. Yeah, these are um, the animations when the dude was, um, oh, I punched the mic. When the dude was going to be top down, these were before that, because this was going to be top down as well, but I was going to, like, adjust it so the thing would be different, and I was basically basically planning it in Minecraft, but now I've got a different idea. And I was using that plan to go off to build these rooms, but then I came up with another different idea to basically go ahead and um, make it so that instead of this being like kind of um, a weird kind of uh, complex kind of building, this was going to be like a hotel on the strange planet you're on. And uh, yeah, so obviously considering that, it's not actually, um, what this is now is it's like, it's it's kind of like a giant kind of, um, block of flats on this planet. And generally the area out here, where the window is, 
that'll be a hollow area where you'll see out, you'll see all the other rooms and all that sort of stuff. Um, and it'll kind of like drop down to like um, kind of dusty bit in the middle, maybe, or it could be like a garden and up there there's some sort of like glass thing that kind of blocks the air in to stop things dying because this planet mainly has um, carbon dioxide atmosphere because of the, um, the life forms that live on this place. They rely, they basically use carbon dioxide and then um, they kind of transform it into uh, oxygen through their many processes unlike a human which you play as. You play as an engineer. Now, um, first things first, this room generally, all it needs is a few bit of these texture tweaks and stuff like that. But what I want to do now is try and plan out all the beds and stuff like that. Now, I have no idea how long this episode's going to be. Maybe it could end up being an hour. It depends on how much I have to input. But right now, in the background, I've got Doom music. You can't hear it because I've muted, muted, muted desktop audio. So yeah. Now, uh, let me just look at the. So, yeah. Okay, this should be fine for me to do this then. Right. So we need to go like that, 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 and then we go Control D again, and we mark out the pillow. And there we go. Uh, click on that. Right click. Um, and then we want to change the floor texture to not in flats in here. I'm going to drag this over so you can see. Yeah, I've got all these different textures that I've got. These two, they're not going to be used because they're the old original ones before I switch to these. Because they didn't quite match the rest of the style. These match and all that sort of stuff. There's more textures, because you see Invasion, that's the name of the thing. These are the original Doom textures, so they can be ignored. Um, in flat... Why is... Oh, there we go, it glitched out for some reason. So, I don't... You, if you can kind of see, this has got like nuts and bolts in the corner. There's kind of weird, kind of saturation going on there. I don't quite understand what's happening. You got all these different floor textures. Here's the stairs I was on about. Um, just ignore the uh, random bit after. You just got to know that this is generally that's supposed to stand for line, and so is this. But except this should be corner. This is floor line two. But I've got a limited amount of characters I can use. So yeah, this is floor two, and that's floor because they're basically the same. It's just this uses these colors. The vent as well, and we go back to that. You can see great if you uh can notice. You can see that these are basically the same texture. There's not really much difference. Same as well. If you are very close, you can notice this is the same as this, but I've slightly changed it. There's the pillow. Now don't be don't be scared that you can see the pillow texture. It's just in engine it looks slightly weird like you can't actually I can show you the actual normal texture that it would so you can see even then you can't really see it that much can I um open it with the photo thing where is it open with photos that's on the other screen All right there you go I want that's not what I wanted to do plus Oh, zoom. Hmm. It's just solid white. I don't quite know why. It's not actually solid white. Nothing seems to like it that much. Unless I somehow accidentally changed it. Does Slade know what it actually looks like? Nope. Okay. Nothing knows what it actually looks like. That is strange. But yeah, you, it, it's supposed to have a texture on it. It doesn't seem to show that well, though. I think it's more noticeable when my screen goes orange, but that's only at night that does that. Um, right, anyway, we need to change this to the sheet, which is in texture 2. Um, sheet, okay. Ah, okay, we need to rotate that. So that'll be that way. Okay, and then we click on that. Um, 
we'll go and go to Q, and then we can come in here and we can um move it. There we go. Right, you can see that's a bed, but at the moment it looks like a bed roll. So scroll up, scroll up. Um. Ah, oh yeah, that's why it's doing that. Okay. Right, we need this to be um the sheet. I can't. I need to hit enter there. That's why. Right, that is generally what I I might actually know. Let's rotate it. Can I? I don't think I can rotate it. Properties. No, I can't rotate it. Okay, that's a bit stupid. I thought you could, but no. Hmm. There's scale, but that doesn't really do much for me. Yeah, okay. So it's got to stay like this. It looks slightly odd. In the actual game, it would look a lot different because the bed would be actually be 3D and not be a plane of existence on the floor. All right. Oh, I want, didn't want to do that. Right, this needs to be the pillow. The pillow doesn't matter too much. Um, the pillow, I think, is that, where is it? I know it's here. Ah, pillow. It's just like a completely white thing at the moment. It's really hard to tell what you're looking at. Right. So that looks like that. Now you can see it's, uh, it looks fine. So, what we need to do now is we're going to make the desk as there are multiple objects that will belong in this room in this area there'll be a bookshelf so we'll mark that out uh, like that, that that now I haven't got a bookshelf texture yet I'm not sure if I will make that within this video though that's the only thing I'm confused uh, I'm not confused the only thing I'm not too sure about um, at some point as well, I'll hopefully figure out how to make objects, because that would be pretty cool to add. Now, here as well, I need to switch this to 8, just so I can get a bit more, so I can make his bedside table. Now, I will have to make a custom texture of this at the mo in the future, but not at the moment, because at the moment I just temporarily am using um, the other thing um i think i think that might be the right height i'm not too sure i can check let's go to tools test map it's on the other screen all right let me just drag this over so you could see it all right okay um hmm Oh yeah, th this is the Hall of Mirrors effect, because I haven't got a texture there. Uh, just had to mute the mic then. Now, this is kind of small, so let's enlarge that. Night. For a moment then, I thought that was the Hall of Mirrors effect here, but no, it's just this slightly making it kind of weird it looks so weird when you do that but yeah you can this is a bit too low um maybe because doom guy can stand the bed is the right height that's the right height pretty much the right size this is definitely a lot better than what i did before as i made doom guy look like a midget oh what am i doing oh Oh, I've used the arrow keys because it's slightly messed up. Right. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, right, in there. Right, so uh we've got that set up. Now we need to texture this. Um so we need the top to be cabinet F. There we go. No. That's the wrong texture. Um, it needs to be not flats. Texture two. Cabinet underscore. And you can see that it looks slightly weird. But if I rotate it like that, yeah, that's rotated correctly. But 
The only issue... Which will see that. The only issue is that I need to sort... There we go. Right, you can see nuts and bolts in each corner. That's how it should be. Alright, um... Down here, we need to set up a cabinet. And then we hit enter, and now... That generally works, but what I need to do is if I drag this over here... I need to scale this. Um, so it's lower scale. That's the wrong one. That's the right one, but we need to do it the other way. There you go. So you can see that. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. You can see that's done that now. And then we go ahead here and we use not that, that's the long one. We use the short one. And then we shrink this. To that. And then we do the same here. Uh, now it does look slightly weird. It's not that bad. Because obviously it doesn't pick up the texture that well. That's the middle scale. That doesn't do anything. Um, it's the lower scale I wanted. Not the middle one. I don't think there's anything above this that does anything. So, Oh yeah there is. There's this that's for this. But that's about it. Now, that desk is done, so we're going to go ahead and do this one now. There you go, there's the bookshelf. It might be a bit too high though, I think it is. Oh no, I put gravity on, there you go, turn that off. I think that might be long enough. I'm not too sure though. Now we need to go to Doom 2 and go to Textures and then we'll filter this to Book. Pan Book. There we go. This is the temporary texture. It's not going to look like this whatsoever. It'll look more or less like these where it's that kind of whiteness to it. Um, so yeah, I think because I obviously the beds I've made them blue because it's the kind of clean look and stuff like that and that's what I'm generally going for. It's supposed to look like a clean place, but what um what I do want to think want to add is like a red and stuff like that to these to make them look a bit more kind of in theme with the floor slightly. Maybe I'm not sure. That might be a bad idea. Uh, I'll try it at some point, most likely off camera, but if it doesn't work then it won't be in the next episode. Right, this needs to be another thing, which is pan, no, that's pan, and then case one. Okay, enter, see, and there you go. Right, that's the bookshelf. Uh, we'll start at the top, just because I like doing that. Um, that is in flats, and we look for wood. Ah, what is it? Is it plank? No? Hmm, what's the texture called? It will probably show. Oh, it's called flat. That They've literally just called it flat, wow. They couldn't have called it like wood or something, which it is. You can see that's wood. It's the one weird thing about Doom 2, the fact that they've, um, basically in it, it's just, um, kind of, um, how to put it, um, they, they've got a lot of wood and stuff involved in it compared to the, the, um, the original Doom, which consists a lot of technology. This consists a lot of wood and stuff like that, and it's on Earth. Now, I'm not sure if it's saying, doing that because it's like, oh yeah, Earth is kind of nothing compared to Mars, but it won't really make sense since they should have space travel. Because look at this, this is all the, they got all this wooden stuff. It's kind of weird when you look at it. Now, the brick does make sense because a lot of the time, even in, like, Nowadays, we barely use metal, yet when we go other places, we use metal and plastic stuff to build 
bases because generally it's like a lot stronger against outside things whereas earth we know it's fine um is this one i wanted no that's the completely wrong one it's the cabinet now that is a bit too small so that needs to be that's the length um no So if I remember this, it had to be, yeah, because I think I did it around this height when I did it originally, because I've kind of redone it because I didn't like it before, and I kind of messed up on certain things. So this is four or five, All right, and then, actually, at the back, this needs to be case as well. Oh wait, that's in um invasion. That needs to be in this. There we go. Alright, see, and there we go. Um So this means as well I've got to sort all of this out on the back. Um texture two, cabinet one point four five. It's not that noticeable other than the fact that the bolts are just as squished as the other ones. That's generally the only difference. Um, and then 0.45, and then the top one is cabinet F, which I believe standard for cabinet flat. I think that's what I wrote it for. Right, there you go. You can see we've already set up a lot of things in here. Now we're doing this thing. So this is the bedside cabinet. So this one's a lot different since it's not like a full 64 texture. So a lot of it will be squished in different places. So we need to squish it this way. Um, let's drag this over here. Right, okay. So I think that needs to be 3.5. 4. Yeah, 3.4. I forgot to do it this way. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Right, there we go. Right, um, I completely forgot what this was the size. Although it will be different because um, on the sides I'll be using the cabinet F, which is here. Uh, drag that over there. Okay, that would be 1.5. Okay. And then... Oh, that's extending it. Okay, 1.6. Okay, so 1.5, uh, 1.15, and uh, 1.6. So that, oh, bugger. Right, see, there we go. Right, now, I have to look around the monitor just to look at what I'm doing, because my monitor's there, just showing me what I'm doing. Um... So this is that one. A lot of this is generally the same thing. But. At least you get to see what I'm doing. I might record Doom after this. And then this will come up as well today. I'm not sure. Well it's not today. But tomorrow in my case. Um, this was 1.6. Yep. Okay. Right. Now we need to do the same back here. And we need to slap in cabinet F. Um, I think this is actually different because it's a different length. Oh, no, that, that's definitely the wrong one. All right, okay, this is 135. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, I think this might actually still be 16 because that doesn't change. The height is the exact same. Alright, and then the top needs to be cabinet F, but, obviously, I need to try and shrink it again so it fits. That's extending it. Now, it might be that, I might be wrong, though. Uh, offset. No, it's three, I think. 
Uh, 17, 18, 19, no, nope, 20, 21, 22, yep, 22, okay. That's extending it again. Fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. Done. There we go. Cabinet is complete. Now I think it does look slightly larger than it should be. I'm not too sure though. Uh, let's hit Q and we'll do a play test quickly to see what it looks like compared to Doom Guy's height. All right, we need to drag this over here. And then, let's see. So you can see for starters, there's like a little white glaring edge there. So that's um, obviously something that's different compared to other things. So you can see I have done borders on these. It has got shading. It's not just completely plain white. Oh, look, there you go. You can see the pillow has texture. Kind of like how the sheet does. Same as these do. Um, now. I can't jump, but I think I can turn jumping on. That's not it. The stupid mouse thing when it blows up. Uh, team none, color. There you go, red. You can't be anything else. Can't be anything else. Male, also aim that can stay. Um, okay, press space to to see back. Okay, All right. Um, gameplay options. That'd be it. Uh, some falling damage, drop weapon, uh, infinite inventory. No monsters. Where's jumping? I know there's jumping around. Allow jump. On. Um, allow crouch. Put that on. Free look. On. Other that. Uh, Customize controls. There's jump in here somewhere. Right. We want to set this up as um. Space. And then we'll set use as E because it makes sense. Um, crouch can be control. Uh, can be shift. Okay. Yep, that works. Yep. Okay. So we can jump up here now. We can crouch. Dee 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 dee. Right, so this room has come together. So we've got to sort out these. We've got to make sure that this is on all of these. Um, and I think, uh, obviously, we need to sort um, make it so the roof up here is sloped. I don't know why that has the default ceiling texture. It shouldn't have. Um, so yeah, you can kind of. Obviously, the way I've set up the walls is like this, because obviously in sci-fi you see this kind of thing a lot on all the walls, and then you've got like this back panel that's usually white, this is grey, all that sort of stuff. Um, and obviously it allows the player to just kind of look around things if they want. Um, now you cannot see the texture on the side of the bookshelf, which is does mean that technically I didn't have to put the texture there, but I like putting the textures on things. One thing that really would be nice is I'm wondering if I can figure out a way to put posters and stuff on the wall, because then I could go ahead and I could like slap a poster here, or something like that, some pictures and stuff to personalize people's rooms, because obviously they're all going to end up looking the same. Ugh, stupid mouse thing. Right, um, so, we've got this room all set up, if we go back into this kind of mode, 
we are going to start trying to see if we can do this. So we've got to sort this out. Um, this needs to be in Invasion, Textures, Metal, W. Okay, now I need to see what did this one have. Texture Scale, so minus, four, 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 minus 144 and 3.9 in the Texture Scale. I I didn't okay I can literally just I forgot that's how Doom works oh no I don't want that to be a texture scale Jesus Christ three nine point nine okay and then minus one four four All right I also needed to stay in this so I can set up the slope now this should be minus two two and offset height how did I set that up in here what did I I don't think I did anything I think I just left it hmm okay I feel like this needs to be sloped a bit more though Alright, okay, see. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay, we're doing good. Uh, I put gravity on again. I keep putting gravity on. It's really annoying because they've got like the keys all weird and set up weird. Right, so this needs to be minus 2, 2. Uh, what was the texture size of this? It was. 2.6 2.6 Also apparently it had an offset which it didn't doesn't have an off Ah okay this has one I was supposed to put zero not press delete Okay Right that's up fine um, this one was off height of um, the surfaces minus one four four and okay three point nine three point nine minus one four four minus one four four three point nine Okay. Oh, this is the wrong texture. Uh, this needs to be... There it is. Metal W. Uh, and then we need to set up like this. Now, one thing I do want to do, and I'm going to explain this to you. On these textures up here, I want to set this up so it has like a light on it. So like, there's a light in the middle that kind of just joins on the textures, stuff like that. I think that would look pretty cool, because then it would add a lot more detail to this kind of area, because at the moment it's just, and that's it. And obviously that's not rubbish, but kind of is a bit weird. Now, a lot of these textures as well, I've got to try and randomize them a bit more, so they have all this sort of stuff going on, all the random different lines and stuff like that. Um, Now... I need to try and sort out the slope on this one. So, what was the texture for that? Um, upper scale was just two, and once again, it's zero. So, upper offset zero, upper scale two. Okay. Oh, there's um this as well. Didn't notice this one. Zero and two. There you go. Now this lower one doesn't matter because it's it's not actually visible. It's not in 
visibility at all because it's just this is basically gotten rid of it this is visible but it's not too visible unless you look up so that is all one because it's just these two that are separate planes but this is not as I believe it follows this maybe I don't know I think it it follows this so it follows how that works so Next, we need to check out the height of this. So, on slopes, it is minus 134 and 96. Okay. It's already at 96, so it's just minus 134. Pretty, I think it might have just been minus 34, not 134. Yes, okay. I don't know where I got the one from, but okay. That works. Alright, we're just going to try and sort out this wall and see what it looks like. Um, so, this needs to be switched to the metal W texture, which next episode I should have some new textures for you guys to look at. So we can do a bit more of like cool things like lights and vents and stuff like that. Yes, there's vents up here, but in a sense, they're not really vents. They're just kind of there. They're not supposed to be vents. I just called them vents because they look like them and I can use them like that in the future. And generally, they're more or less grates, but the grates are the ones without the border and with me smacking the mic. So I'll have to um, make a texture for this as well at some point not sure when um, I'm gonna have to make a door texture as well and I've also got to make a light texture for the roof maybe I'm not too sure I don't know if I will cuz if I do the light the light will be like this there that yeah that's correct so this needs to be two away like that like that I think one two oh one two three four five one two three four five yeah okay and then here it will kind of just pop down like that and then you'd have just slap that on there temporarily um, scale, shrink that down. Actually, uh, can I make it so I only have to use one of these? I'm getting there. Oh, there we go. Um, now it's this way. 16. No. Uh, 18. 20. 22. 23. 24. 25. 26. Okay. Try 27. No. 26.5. Yes. Okay. Look. There you go. That's what it looked like, and then we go ahead and slap, uh, drag this over so we can see it. We're going to go to here, and then we need the stairs. And there you go. We set up a light. Now, obviously, this would be different, so it would be kind of like this texture, but not red. It would be grey to match with the ceiling because the red is generally like a floor kind of decoration it breaks up the room a bit let's just say that because it makes the room look a lot less boring which is a good thing because obviously if a room looks boring then uh people aren't gonna be that entertained when they're sat in the room and they're just they're just like oh okay 
So obviously adding like cool little things in. In the game itself, I'll set up systems to randomize a lot of the stuff. Why is this? That hasn't changed. I'm I'm just tripping balls because I can. Um, now I need to set up this correctly. So I need to remember all the settings for this. This was upper scale to lower scale 2.6. Okay. So this is... Oh. I keep forgetting to press C when I do that stuff, otherwise it doesn't do anything. Offset 0, offset 0. Lower offset. I oh, know, I think I know what that's on about. I think... I don't know. What are you even on about? Zero, zero. I don't know why there's another zero there. No one asked for that. All right, so this was 2.6 and 2. Yep, there you go. You can see it worked. Okay, right. I just got to pronounce my T's very well. <laughs> um, right. So, what we need to do is minus 44 and 3.9 on both. So, generally because they're connected and they show up on the same screen, I don't need to do that much, which is uh, 3.9. No, this is minus 144. And my screen went on the other mouse. And this is 36. Nope. Oh wait, no, it's 3.9. Why? Why? Why do I forget these things? 3.9. I'm wondering what song's on in the background right now. I don't know what it is. I can't quite remember. I'll prob I'll probably remember it at some point. I think it's just one of the atmospheric ones. Um. I'll probably put some sort of music in the actual video afterwards. Don't know what I'll put in the background though. Uh, obviously, I'll make sure it doesn't drain out my voice, as I've done before. It was idiotic of me when I did that. Um, I've had so many. Oh, I opened that. I didn't want to do that. I've had so many audio issues in the past. It's like, at this point, there's, they're not new to me. If I see them, I'm just like, oh, god damn. I can't be bothered to re-record that entire video. Uh, minus 22 and... It was minus 34, wasn't it? Yeah. Minus 34. And... Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. This pillar will not look like this for long. It will look like something else. Same with this window. This window will basically be a hole, kind of. I'll have to sort it out so there's a semi texture on there, not um, so it's not just completely just bam, and then you walk up on it and then accidentally walk out the window, fall to your death. Um, obviously in the actual actually, uh, there's transparency on this. Uh, I think custom no properties. Uh, render style, translucitive, additive. What does additive do? Translucent alpha. And I, I want to figure out how to make glass, so I'm probably going to watch a tutorial at some point, probably after this video, because then I can make a glass texture and you can look for it, because obviously this is not a glass texture, this is a bed texture that I've just slapped onto a, where a window would be. I'd make a proper one, which I know how to make. Now, we're going to sort this out. Now I think when I finish this room to the semi kind of level it needs to be, then I will kind of um set up the what is it, um then I will end the episode, because obviously if I do anything more than that, then that's just stupid. 
175, no, 1.75, not 175, Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, there you go. You can see that. Let's go inside the bookshelf. Yeah, you can see that perfectly. Oh, there is one issue. What is... Offset is completely zero. What are you? Minus seven. Not needed. A lot of this stuff, I've literally got the offset on zero, which is quite funny. Um, Alright, and then the middle scale was one... I forgot that. Um, what is it? 1.75. 1.75. 7.5 and this needs to be 0 again because I didn't save it. Stupid idiot. Let's switch the texture out on this one. Um, let's go with a bit of this. And now we've got this one which needs to be 0.75 0 Has that actually changed correctly? think so. No, wait, the uh, texture on the other side is the exact same. Uh, let's set you up as that. That'll be fine. And I can go ahead and set this one up as this. And then 0. And then 0. 0.75. Is that actually point? Yeah, it's 0. 0.75. Okay. And then we'll set this one up as... That one. Zero, zero. Point seven five. I know this has to be different because of this. Uh one point one point fifteen and minus zero. So minus zero point five and then one five. There you go, look at that. All the textures are set up correctly. Um, now, if I set up the rest of the slopes, it should work. So we'll set this to 0, 0, 0, 0. I don't know why I press V. It's not really a key I need. Um, this needs to be... Two point six and two. Okay. I just need to try and remember those numbers. Uh two point six and two. So I'll do nothing else but sort out these. So zero zero two point six and two. Actually, couldn't I just go ahead and just grab all these and then just go and do it that way? So it's zero, 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 <clears throat> two point six and two. Now I'm just gonna say you should have seen the original texture I had for this. It looked absolutely rank. It doesn't exist anymore because this replaced it. <clears throat> but basically, um, it was like a it 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 didn't suit any of the rooms at all. Kind of like how um, the original textures for these walls, um, this doesn't particularly suit it. It's like way too cartoony for what, I, what I've been making the metal textures look like. Like these look a lot more realistic, all of these, than the ones I had. But it's still got that cartoony style, which is what I'm looking for. I want it to be cartoony but realistic in the same kind of way. If you get what I mean. Now I've set all of these up, so that starts. No, no. Click on it. There you go. I hate it when it glitches sometimes. So we want to go to surfaces. Minus 144 and 3.9. I've looked at that about 20 times now, and you all probably recognize the exact numbers. Now these are all going to be different, I think, but shouldn't be too bad. Um. Where are you? It's in here. 
I really should have made it a flat, which is what it is. But I didn't because I'm an idiot. Um, this is minus 144. This needs to be set the same direction. Minus 1. Oh. Okay, nothing weird happened. Okay. And then 3 point... I, I, I keep missing buttons. I try and press the point button, it does nothing. <clears throat> ah, okay, this one's slightly different. This one isn't 4-4. Four, four. Okay, it's it's 208. Okay, minus 208. And that would be the exact same for the opposite side. So, slap bang in here. Uh, right click. I, I, I right clicked it. Okay. Right, this needs to be switched to the texture 2. This one. Uh, I didn't do any of the slope shit. Great. Um. 208 minus 208 and then it's 3.9 and 3.9 um uh, oh this is the wrong direction okay uh i think yeah it's that way there we go All right so that's set up correctly now this should be 144 this needs to be set the same direction. This also needs to be this instead. So it's minus one four four minus one four four three point nine and three point nine. Yeah, you can see that worked. I don't need to select that. Um this and then it's texture 2, metal, um, also if you're wondering why it says metal W, it's because in Doom there's already a texture called metal, um, and because I have to use, um, when I'm doing a Doom wad, I have to use Doom, it then the Doom texture overwrites my texture, so I just was like, right, you know what, just add a random letter, so I put W. Could have done something else. Actually, no. W stands for wall. That's why I put W. Metal wall. Makes sense. Um, someone's hoovering. Minus one, four, four. There you go. Right, and then this is 3.9. This is one of the more chill episodes, I feel like, of anything. I feel like it, but um, maybe I'm wrong. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if just regular old Doom is more chill than this somehow. Like, Doom, one of the most weird and wacky games, which is murder everywhere, I've ended up making into an unbelievably chill game at points. Shows you how boring I am. Um, minus 3-4, minus 2-2. Two, two. Okay. So, we're going... Minus three, four, uh, that way, that way, okay, this way, minus two, two, um, am I correct there? Yes, I am, okay, I somehow memorized it without memorizing it, but I am going to say this is a lot easier to do. What did I do wrong here? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, I see. That's why. I didn't switch that around. Right, these both need to go this way, and then we go minus 3, 4, minus 2, 2. This is actually, I, I love that rotation wheel, that's actually really helpful. I think that's wrong. I think I may have messed something up there. No, I didn't. Okay. That's weird. Oh. Okay. I'm looking at the wrong thing. But why is that this is zero? What is this? That's zero. What? What the? What is going on?
Oh, no, I see what it's doing. Why does it not do it on that, this side, then? Let's just do this, just so I don't get confused. That's, that's a bit weird. I was like, what? It doesn't really do much difference, though. It's pretty funny. Right. I just kind of, like... At the moment, I I think I don't know what I think it's playing Olivia's Doom in the background, and it kind of just it sounded like she said car wash for a moment. Then, kind of made me slightly laugh inside. And I I don't laugh on the outside. It's not possible. Um, so that means these these should switch as well to be that, and then that and. That. that makes a lot more sense then. I don't have to add the stupid minus in. Right, and then this would be three, four, two, two. Okay, pretty simple. Uh, three, four, two, two. Yes, look at that, it's all finished. We've got all the slopes on every side, apart from up on the roof, which we can sort out now, I think. Oh wait, no we can't. Control D. Control D. Control D. Control D. Q. All right. Now that should work, because then I can do this. Um, that's on the bottom, that's not what I need, I need the, oh. Alright, okay, I think... What the bloody hell are you doing? Why is this one being weird? What the bloody hell happened here? Alright, I want to watch this a minute, does... Okay, it doesn't glitch out anymore. I'm confused. Alright, I need to... I'm still confused what's going on with this one. Okay. So this looks fine. Now, what was the rotation on this? This was minus 14, and that's about it. Minus 14. Minus 14. Alright, okay, so I see what's going on here. Some of these are a bit weird. Huh. 
Huh, that actually worked. Okay. Right, okay, so that one, well, that, stop. There we go. That one was 24. 27, 28, 29, 24, 23, 22, 21. This gets longer, okay. So this is 29, 30, 31, 32. Okay, it's 32. So you can see slight hints of orange and stuff like that, but that shouldn't be too big a deal in the actual game. Apparently I didn't draw one here. Oh wait, no I did, but I think I may have undone a bit too much. Uh, what was the angle? Minus 14. Minus 14 in this angle? Yes. Okay, that worked. And then minus 14 in this angle. There we go. Look at that, that worked. That's perfect. Oh, beautiful. So, now, if we go ahead and play test this, it should look fine. All right. Oh. Yeah, you can slightly see lines in there, but those don't matter too much, so no one's really going to notice them that much. Even though I can notice them, that's because I've got a giant screen in front of me, it's a TV, so it's to be expected. Um, so yeah, you can see all of this looks fine. And here's the issue I was on about. When I said you climb up this, and if that was an actual window, you fly out it, so... Yeah, it's not the best. You can kind of see the anti-aliasing going on here. It's the one thing that Doom does that I don't particularly like. Or this could just be a GZ Doom. Options, uh, customize controls is there. Uh, display. Fog mode, weapon light, environment, uh, texture options, textures, oh, okay, none, ah, perfect, this is what I wanted, oh, oh, look at that, look at those smooth lines now, this looks so much better, this looks like a thousand times better, oh my god. Oh, if only I knew that in the first place. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's so much white. It's so much whiter. So much whiter. You can see the edges a lot more now. So you can see all the individual pixels. This is what I was looking for. Because look, this looks normal now. It doesn't look stupid. Now the pillow kind of does look a bit stupid, but that's to be expected. Now I am going to say this, compared to the floor, the metal bits on the drawers look kind of plastic. They look a lot like plastic, and that's something that will change, so it looks a lot more like this, where it's all roughed up. 
which I think will be looking pretty cool because you can see it's all roughed up along here all that sort of stuff and there's all that sort of texture stuff if you're wondering how I made all these textures basically what I did was I made a 32 by 32 texture scaled it and then bumped like sorted it out a bit, scaled it again, bumped it up a bit. Obviously these are all 64 by 64 so they didn't get scaled up multiple times. These wall textures though they are 128 by 128 so they got scaled three times I think. Oh wait a minute. 